Shalom Yisrael Reach David from Uma Teshua Victory Community. I want to greet you all today here in the southeastern part of the United States, here in Yerushalayim. I have harvested some of the abundance of the garden today. I simply wanted to make this video to show you the abundance, the beauty collectively, what a people can do if we simply, in a collective fashion, we form communities, Umba, a nation of people that are striving for the same thing. Look at this beautiful broccoli. We have, I want you to see this. This is a 5.8 or 6 foot cubic wheelbarrow. Now this is only from a few hundred plants, really. Well, look at the beauty of this broccoli that we have harvested today. Plenty, all of this beautiful broccoli. We have cabbages, we have cauliflowers in here. I don't know if the camera and get a beautiful look at it. and cauliflowers and beautiful broccoli to the abundance look at what Yah has done that we can eat in a way that is healthy for our bodies and not only that but we have a we i have harvest two bags i have the zahid to help me on this look at that beautiful kale you see anything any beautiful than that look at that isn't that beautiful kale fresh salad we can do it any kind of way Put uh, a little oil on this, uh, uh, dress it up with uh, some sesame seeds. I love it with uh, my Ishaw tends to do it with uh, the roasted sesame seed oil. And it gives it, it a beautiful flavor. So the broccoli is abundant. We have thousands of plants of broccoli. And what I try to do is try to cull out anything that has a little uh, discoloration in it. Something like this. But also... In the midst of that, you have beautiful, beautiful heads of broccoli like this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Steam that. Do it any way you want to. Eat it raw with kale. Eat it raw with kale. Put some cauliflowers in that. We have cabbages here that... Not the large ones. We only need the small ones. But we have large ones that are growing. But all of this in the abundance of today... We have harvested this to share with you, Yisraya, that collectively you can do the same thing. We simply have a generation of people that's selfish. Our health is in disrepair. Our condition is bad. Well, you say, well, man, you look overweight. Well, video is not kind to me. In the physical presence, you will see a totally different physical man. But... Uh, we need to learn how to eat in a way we grow our own food, Yisraya. You can do it. You can take simple approaches to grow food, whereby you can give food away. Some of this, we will give to others. We're not going to eat all this. We have thousands of plants to harvest, and the harvest is abundant. But you cannot buy this out of your fresh food markets like this. Fresh in the morning, it has been picked. This is genuinely fresh broccoli. You can eat it right now. That's all you need. Fresh broccoli. Look at that. I'm here in the community simply giving you a, an insight. As I have stated, we'll be, we'll be doing more videos on different things, even health. I am 56 years old, 57 turning next year. And I will show you things that when one gets themselves in considerable shape, that there is nothing beyond your ability to do. Even at my age, and I'm not talking about steroids and all of these, this chemical concoction, but you can maintain a vigor, a strength, and strong, and do things to stay healthy, to exercise, to jog, to run, to lift weight. These things are important for our physical being and our structure because we're in a nation of captivity that our minds are captive to television and to the eating habits that are they, they, they are detriment upon us as a people, as a nation. But we should be eating like this beautiful kale, so fresh, my. You can't ask for anything better than that. Salad today, yesterday I had a kale salad with, I believe, my Ishaw put, if I'm not certain, I'm not mistaken, I know that there were some flax seed in that and also there were, I do believe, uh, some sesame seeds in that. Very delicious, very beautiful, with a, with a, a vegan bond that, uh, a vegan uh, patty that they prepared here with our vegetables and resources that a beautiful vegan pa patty. 
and one of our big sweet potatoes. A man cannot ask for anything greater than that. And it was a beautiful meal, and I enjoyed that. I want to show you one thing before I close this video today. The greenhouse, the solar greenhouse again. We have our indeterminate tomatoes in here. If you, if you can see this, it is taking advantage of the sun here. Now, we can't put the camera on the sun, but it is taking full advantage of the sun. You can see the light. This is clear plastic. It is taking advantage of that. And on the inside, we have it double insulated. I simply want to show you that because the first video with the tomatoes, they were just little small plants. Let me show you this. Come on inside. These are the same plants. These are different varieties of tomatoes here in the earth boxes. And the earth boxes, it's, it's a beautiful thing to have. These are indeterminate. And that simply implies that these tomato plants will produce tomatoes until we began to eat tomatoes out of the garden. We'll set them out during the, uh, the warm days of the, of the fall of the spring, but we will eat from this. It's one thing about indeterminate. You want to prune these plants, and I will do a video on that. You want to prune off all the leaves, all these stems that are producing nothing. They're producing nothing. You say, oh, you're going to hurt them. Ah, oh, you will be surprised once you prune them off how much it will grow. You see tomato plants where people have so many leaves on it. You prune all these leaves off. You prune them off. You want to prune indeterminate plants at least once a week. You prune them. Take all these off. You can't tell the ones that are going to produce. Prune them. Take all these leaves off. Just remove all of them. And you don't want to water your plants overhead. It does more death or destruction to them. Rain is all right, but you want to make sure that they water from beneath. I'm removing all of these stems that serve no purpose but robbing the plant. I know it's going to look barren, but it's going to produce. And I'll go through next week and prune all of these and the other greenhouse and, give you, and let you see that as well. So I'll prune all of these plants here. All these stems, and that's what we'll have once I finish. These are going to produce. You can see that these plants, if you get a close shot, you can see that they are flowering. There are tomatoes coming. There will be tomatoes here. But these serve no purpose at all. You're feeding nothing here. You're not going to get anything from that unless you want to saute them and eat them. Now, that's fine to do as well. But this is what the plant will look like when you finish. And you keep it like that during the season, and you will get the, the fertilizer, the nutrition of the fertilizer will also, uh, the plant will take full advantage of that. So you will see the ones whereby, uh, where the fruit will be produced. And all these other leaves, we just prune them off. Prune them. They serve no purpose. Prune them. Just pull them off. It is quite hot in this solar greenhouse. It gets hot in here. And we had below freezing last night. It has warmed up around 60 degrees here in Jefferson. But it is hot in this greenhouse. It is a solar. It takes advantage of the sun, full advantage. And so we want to prune all these leaves off here. Prune them off. Prune everything off. Take advantage. Remove them off. Remove them. That's what you do. That's an indeterminate. But a determinate tomato plant, you don't have to do that because they tend to produce all the tomatoes or the vast majority, 90, 95% within a certain span. You want to grow those if you want to grow... Uh, prepare salsa and things like that so you can do it all at one time you don't have to wait this is the solar greenhouse as I said we'll give you more information on next week or the next video and see the progress of these plants how we will prune them and the other greenhouse we will show you that continuing on our, uh, our process of harvesting and also our weekly live broadcasts Khatre Imad Truth on Yam Revi Wednesday and also our Shabbat service, and also the live service on Shabbat evening, Shabbat Yisraya. We want you to join us. We want your comments, whether they are favorable or unfavorable. It's, uh, it makes no difference at all, uh, none whatsoever. This is Reach David Yisraya from Uma Teshua Victory Community. May the riches of Yah rest upon you all this Shabbat. In Yahshua's mighty name, Yabarak, Shalom, Shalom.